Good morning. I wanted to share this video to give you an idea of what you're supposed to do today. Today is Monday, November 23rd, and it is an asynchronous learning day, which means that we will not have our regularly scheduled teams meetings. Instead, you're responsible for completing an assignment at your own pace. This video is to serve to show you what tasks you need to do and to walk you through how to complete them. So if you go to Schoology and you open module 15, you will see this. So there's an instruction page, which we have for every module. And if you go into the Monday folder, you'll see two documents. The first one is a PDF that goes through kind of each of the components that the Project Lead the Way curriculum tells us we need to do. And the second one is the crank arm drawing assignment page where you will submit your work. So I have that open here. When you open the Google slide presentation, um, it says today we will create a multi-view drawing on Onshape of a VEX robotics part, the crank arm. Submit a screenshot of your completed drawing file to this file. So when you are done creating the assignment that this video is going to show you how to do, you will take a screenshot using your Chromebook and copy and paste it into this file and submit that for a grade. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to open a new tab and go to Onshape. Remember, we always access Onshape from myips.onshape.com. Okay, so I have Onshape open here and I am logged into a student account. So you can see what this should look like. When you log in, the first thing you should see in the documents tab are the documents that you have created. Now, if you have been in class regularly, then you probably have quite a few documents here. So I want you to look carefully and find this document. I have shared this with everybody that is currently enrolled in Onshape. So you should be able to access this document, IED underscore DL underscore 135 underscore trammel underscore toy underscore crank underscore arm all of the underscores so you're going to click on this file and when you open it it's going to say that it is view only now what we need to do is we need to click on the three lines up next to the on shape logo and we need to click on copy workspace Here's the idea. This is a 3D model that has been created by PLTW for us to do this assignment today. So we are going to make our own copy of this just like we would with a Google Doc. So click on Copy Workspace. We're going to name this the same way that we name every file. So put your class period first. I'm going to put 3A. And then your last name. All right, Adams. Your first name. Today's date. Then the name of the assignment, which for this is going to be crank arm. So again, the class period, your last name, your first name, today's date, and crank arm. And then click OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to make a copy of this file so that you can make your own edits. All right, so once it loads, you can look and see what this 3D model looks like. It's basically just a little arm piece out of plastic that we could use uh, to build with. You can see it's got these little holes in it that we can run screws through or drive shafts or whatever. Uh, hopefully, if we are back to normal class next year, you will use these in principles of engineering to build robots. So anyway we aren't going to actually change the 3d model we are going to use it to create a multi-view drawing so if you go down to the little plus sign down here and click plus we're going to click on the option to create a drawing again go down to the bottom of your screen click the plus sign and choose create drawing now when you open this for the first time it's going to have a bunch of options here and we are not going to choose any of these. We are going to go to My Onshape. And there should be one called ATHS Standard Title Block uh, ISO. We want the ANC one. Hmm. Am I going to have to fix that? 
I'm going to have to fix that. Hold on one second. This would be the part where if I was using fancy software, I could edit it out, but I'm not. So, one second. Okay, so that should have fixed it. Let's try that again. So we're going to click on plus, create drawing. And now when we go to my on shape, there should be two options. Yep. All right, so there's there's two different versions of drawing files, and we'll talk about why that is later. One uses inches and the other one uses millimeters. So since we're using inches here, we're going to use the ANSI title block. So we're going to click on that and click OK. So that's going to open this custom title block that we've got here, which if we look down here, we'll see is a little bit different than the one that we have been using. It's got the tech logo on it, and it's got less information than we than we had before because we don't need a whole lot of that stuff. All right, so now I'm going to click on my model, which is right here, and I'm going to move my mouse over to the drawing file. And when I do that, you can see it's got this hovering box it wants me to place my shape. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Now, for those of you who have done drawing files before, today's assignment should be pretty easy. Um, we're only going to be doing a little bit of, uh, of stuff that we haven't done before. Now we just wait for on shape to load. There it goes. All right, so it's got this little orange box here and it, it wants us to place a couple more views. So I'm just moving my mouse and you can see that I've got this hover box here. I'm gonna move it up to the top right corner to place the isometric perspective of my drawing. And I'm gonna place one more view, which is the side view. Now, normally we would do a top view and a side view with our front view. But because of the shape of this, um, we're actually going to just do a side view because the side view would be the same as the as the top view, basically no new dimensions. So instead of doing a top view, uh, we are actually going to use a, um, a view that allows us to zoom in on on features that we can't see. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add some of the missing things that we need. So first I'm going to get out of this projected view by pressing escape. And then we can go up to the drop down menu here with projected view and, and bear in mind you may have options here depending on how big your screen is compared to mine, uh, but we want to choose the one that says detail view. So I'm going to zoom in down here on this part of my, my drawing file, and I'm going to click on the second hole from the right. I'm going to center it there, and now I'm moving my mouse, and I'm going to try to get as much here as I can, so I'm just going to go to the edge of the model here and click, and now I can place this zoomed in mode 
up here. So I'll put it over here in this corner. So that allows us to see some of the finer details of the model without having to zoom in. If we printed this out, we would want the viewer to be able to see the details. OK, so let's let's add a few more things. So first, we've got some holes in this diagram that we need to label. So I'm going to go up to this drop down menu here and I'm going to click on center mark. And I'm going to place a center mark in the middle of each of these holes in my detail view. That way they know that those are holes on my uh, on my front view there. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dimension tool to put the details of this drawing down. So the first one is, and again, these are in the PDF that are posted on the instruction page. Uh, but if you're following along with the video, you shouldn't need to open that document at all. So we are going to dimension from the center of this hole to the center of the hole on the other side is four and a half inches. And again, that's given in the assignment on uh, the PLTW PDF if you want to look at that. I'm also going to dimension the the radius of this this arc right here. And that that's the wrong one. Careful with clicking here. So I want this outer one. I want this outer one. There we go. So I'm going to place this somewhere out of the way. Let's put it right there so it's not in the way of the detail view or the other line. And then I'm going to put the thickness over here. Place that. And then the only thing that I need to do now is give the dimension of this inner circle. So I'm going to put a call out here for the diameter of this guy. And that is all of the dimensions that we need. So we've got the diameter of our circles. We've got the overall length, di the overall length of the model. The, the radius of this semicircle shape on the outside. And the thickness. And those are the only dimensions that are called for in this assignment. One more thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to double click on this detail view here and pop out this menu. And that's going to allow us to change the scale. I've got the room on my screen, so I'm going to change this to three to one so we can really help to see the details. And I'm going to move this guy just a little bit. There we go. That looks better. Two more things and then we're done. The first is I'm going to right click on my isometric view and we always want to change this to show shaded view. Uh, there we go. That way the person who's looking at this drawing can see what this thing would really look like. But we're missing one more thing in our drawing and that is right here. There is a hidden line on this shape where these circles go. So I'm going to right click on this view and I'm going to click on show hidden lines. And that should show us where the hole is and you can see it right there. It also has this textured part on there that we can see when we look at it from the isometric view. Kind of reminds me of a TIE fighter. All right. So the last thing we need to do is we need to fill out the title block of our drawing file. So to do that, you just we need to fill in any place that's got these dashed lines. So we're going to add the title, the drawing number, and the revision. And you can see that it already fills in some of these things for us. So I'm going to double click on, on this. And I always just delete these lines. And so we're going to call this crank arm. And then when you're done filling it in, I'm just going to click on the screen checkbox. Close that window. For the drawing number, I'm just going to put the drawing number as 
drawing number one. And then for the revision, we're just going to put that as revision. And that is everything that you should need for this 3D model or this three this multi view drawing submission. We needed the front view, the side view, the detail view, and an isometric view. So then you can take a screenshot and post that to this assignment on Schoology for your points. If you have additional time today to work uh, on anything, please make sure that you go look at any assignments that you're missing for this class because we do have a lot of people who are missing a lot of assignments. So this would be a great time to work on things that you are missing. I've been making videos to do tutorials on a lot of these assignments. So if you go into the module that the assignment is in, you should be able to find that recording. If you need anything from me, please don't hesitate to send me a message on Schoology and I'll do my best to support. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next week. Bye guys.